I'm going to begin with you, uh, Sheridan. Did you have an established, long-standing relationship with this before getting involved in this? Because I mean, it does feel like a, one of those films a lot of kids... It was like a rite of passage for a lot of kids in this country. Oh, massively. I love this film. I, we used to watch it at Christmas with my mum and dad, and I was a huge fan of it. And when I got the phone call saying that I'd been offered the role of Jenny Agatha's daughter in The Railway Children Return, I was beyond excited. I mean, it was hysteria in my house. So, um, yeah, it's a huge honour to be part of this film. Yeah, what does this material, this whole franchise, if you can call it that, sort of mean to you? I mean, it's been such a huge part of your life, hasn't it? The but Railway really Children, children as, yeah, a... <clears throat> as a whole. <clears throat> um, it has been a huge part of my life, and it's kind of peculiar because it's it, it, it hasn't uh, hasn't actually changed my career, although it kicked it off. I have to say, you know, the film that Lionel Jeffries made, I did it on television, then I did the film, and that had a huge opening. But then it was, it went away for a long period of time, and only came back when I returned to the UK, and I realised it had become a classic in, in the UK, because in America it didn't really um, take off. But um, it's, what is lovely about it is how, first of all, Nesbitt's story has survived through periods of time, but how this particular return of the railway children looks at a different time and therefore it, it, it looks historically at you know, 1905 which is where Bobby comes from and we have that and then we, we move to 1945 but we've moved through the First and the Second World War and that gives it a different kind of a feeling because where we were with the Waterbury's <clears throat> in 1905 was a, was a world that was innocent and could have happy endings and where we are in 1945 it's a more difficult time. But children give it great hope, and it's their adventures that we're enjoying. And I think it's, you know, it's lovely to be seeing children's adventures. And I mean, it is one of those films where it's so impossible not to cry. I mean, that, 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 even in this, this one too. Uh, but well, was the beginning of it, when you yeah. see these children being torn away from their families. And it's but I was, I was going to ask Jenny, can you, did you cry when you watched the old one back? Because you know that scene, that famous scene, because <laughs> it is one of those... It's almost like a cliche to say it's one of those things that everyone cries to. But do you cry? In I've it? cried when I've read it, yeah. actually, rather than when I've seen it, because I know what Lionel's done there, and I think he's done an extraordinarily beautiful job. Um, and I think part of, you know, when I, if I watch The Railway Children, there's a nostalgic emotional response to it, which is, oh, you know, it's all that time ago, and yet it's still, you know, it it's, exists still. I was sort of taken aback by how impressive the kids were in this. Mm. I can't believe. I mean, how was it? Was, was it like that on set? Were you sort of just like, how oh, yeah. are you guys so good at that age? Oh, they're incredible. They're, mm. It is. Ex it's extraordinary their talent. Yeah. And what Morgan, the director, did with them, which was let them improvise. So loads of those lines that are in the film were just off the cuff, weren't they? And 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 so they captured a the magic that I think that you know they're not precocious at all. They're a genuine little group of friends and. The heart of it just comes across on the screen, doesn't mm. it? It was just brilliant. Yeah, and it's see. lovely to play with because they're so, you know, they're so into uh, their imagination and, and creating that world for themselves, and they draw you into that. So, you know, as an actor, you, 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 it's, it becomes much easier because I just wanted to play with them. Yeah. Yeah, is it almost quite infectious that outlook they have? Absolutely, mm. yeah. And because uh, obviously with Bo sort of playing the sort of character, you. Sort of she's the sort of bo she's the sort of Bobby. Of yeah. Did you sort of feel a responsibility to impart any wisdom, or, or did was it? Did you want to give her a bit of space to find her own route into? The, I would. Into the I would never impart any wisdom because no. there's <laughs> nothing I could take and give her. Um, it, what's lovely is just I, I was hugely impressed just to sit and watch her. I remember the, one of the first things I did was actually the scene was um, the scene at the very end and just seeing the way she handled that so beautifully um, and so emotionally and so um, honestly. I mean, just completely inhabiting it um, which is you know something you can't teach somebody or tell somebody about and just something I can admire and I know it's become a bit of a sort of cliched slogan on the side of mugs these days but that kind of keep calm and carry on spirit is something that you that is is prevalent in this sort of title um, do you think that that's something that is accredited to this particular time do you think that's just our human nature to, to be like that to find the calmness and a, and, a, and a sort of diligence and ability to keep going in the face of quite sort of striking adversity I think Second World War is, you know, <clears throat> it did ask people to um, rely on one another, support one another, help each other, because we didn't know what that outcome was going to be, you know. And each Christmas was like, we can look forward to Christmas, the next Christmas is going to be free of this, and it didn't happen, and there's you know, years of, of the war. And um, that adversity does bring a kind of a strength. Um, 
it's that's different, I think, from from the 1905 one. They're they're a family surviving together because father's away. You know, it's a different thing. I think as a nation, we're very stoic, you know. Yeah, and I mean, obviously, so many films we see from this sort of period are set in the trenches or the war rooms, but we sort of forget about the incredible battles being fought on home soil and what we see through these films is an incredible sort of strength of of um, and maternal strength as well of mothers and women at back in in england kind of keeping yeah. the country going is that quite an important thing for you both to explore through this for this film yeah. well you've, you 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 you're, you're touching on two things there one is just being able to keep things going and the women taking on the jobs and and, and making sure things happen and the other is just keeping the home front and, and making sure that the that the children are okay that they're um, that they live with some hope and they you know and, and they're surviving with some enjoyment in their lives even though that they're facing adversity and we said about Bobby being a suffragette didn't we and well that's that's about that's a historical thing right. um, as opposed to yeah she for for me it was really important to see Bobby had come from this world where she had been a suffragette you see women's roles change and she would have been through quite a few changes and then of course um, Lily is going to be is going to take that further she's going to see women's roles change even more and just very quickly before I go just because I mentioned how much the original film and this one made me cry uh, what's the film that always gets you guys Tom said um, Brief Encounter and um, Brief Encounter does but yeah. I saw and a version E.T.'s of that e on stage which was amazing and E.T.'s really come up me. a couple of times <laughs> E.T. E.T. E oh, oh the E.T. <laughs> come home Oh, a little creature. Oh, um, gosh. Um, An old, an old film. I think it's any film that just any always film. gets you. Oh, gosh. <laughs> there are many, there are many films that, that <laughs> it's hard to shorten it. It can't be true. It's not a big soft no, but I can't think any um, you know, Whistle Down the Wind, I thought, was an extraordinary yes. film, and that gets me. I just have to hear the music from that, and I'm off, you know. I've got to go with The Railway oh. Children, the original. Yeah. Jenny's daddy is just... <laughs> that's that for goose, goosebumps, no, tears. Crying, no, I'm crying now. I don't <laughs> cry. Tissues. Uh, well, thank you so much. <laughs> thank, thank you for talking to us. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys. Hey, you guys, huh? Hey, you guys, Is that yeah. from the Goonies? It is indeed, yeah. Nice. Hey, you guys.